Homegrown Radio. If you are not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you cannot be happy. And if you cannot be happy, then what else is there? This is your girl, Anne Lokonene, host of The Happy Club, the show where we share stories, knowledge, tools on mental health and overall wellness and empower you on your journey to living your happier life. Yesterday is one of the shows where I do not travel alone. I am with the lovely wellness coach, Satram Play. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> you know what I say, that voice gets me every single time. I absolutely love it. How are you today? Oh my goodness, I'm so good. Spring, what are we? Into our second week, right? And it's lovely and windy. Trees have blossomed. I always say like, it's like summertime, you know, and I was corrected the other day, like, no, 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 it's not summer, it's spring, there's a Absolutely. difference. So we are definitely <laughs> feeling the heat, we are definitely feeling the heat, but I want us to jump right into it. Yeah. Our conversation today, what are we talking? We're talking about none other but change. Oh, the only thing that is consistent <laughs> in life, right? Yeah, so true. The only thing that is consistent, change. The significance of change, the importance of it, from the perspective of a professional and a wellness coach, what are your words of change? What is the what is change actually? Let me rather ask. Oops. Change is an act or process of which something becomes different. Okay. Nothing is static. It's static. And I would say that's when you alter, you have to alter, modify, or substitute mm. what you have with something different. Mm, mm. And it can be very overwhelming, exciting, frustrating. So to me, I say life is about change. Mm. And sometimes change, it's beautiful. Sometimes it's painful, but it's both of beautiful and painful. It depending, depends on an individual. Yeah, I was gonna say, depending <laughs> on how you see it, depending on how you play it in your life and what you actually do with Absolutely it. Absolutely true. When I think of change, I, I, think, I first think difficulty. I'm not going to lie, I first, I first find it very difficult and is that something that you often come across a lot? Yes, because often in the client's mind or people just in general, in general, yeah, it's yeah. not easy to see change as happiness, but we'll get there. Mm, mm. Often it's change because especially now, let me bring the example to what's currently happening. As we all know, since 2020 to 2021, many people have been made redundant they've been retrenched yeah. they put it like that yeah right that yeah that and actually. some people have been asked to work half half a day few hours two weeks in a month and some people literally is nothing as per the conversation which i had with you previously mm, mm. so what does this do to a person it's all about change it frustrates you it shocks you it makes you sad, makes you angry, it mm. makes you uncertain because it affects the other people that you're taking care of. And it's you definitely know? not something that you are used to in your system because as you've been saying, like it's yeah. a thing of consistency. So you always want to work towards consistency Absolutely. and you've been working to this and now yeah. there's this change that comes. Be it, as you were saying, people have had their hours cut down. A lot of people have now had to work from home. I mean, yeah. I would think that is a change, you know, working from home, having to adjust now with having the kids, yeah. having the family and how that actually yeah. creates a change in the dynamic of the home as well. Yeah. So in that way, we can stretch it. Mm, For mm. many people, it would be exciting because now I'm going to be spending more time with my kids. Yeah. because I take them to school and then from there I fetch them and I cook whatever that I want to cook things I've always wanted to do with them connect with them bond with them instead of just leaving in the morning then I see them late in the evening before they sleep before you know what I mean yes, for some people yes. you've got an elderly that you're taking care of at home yes you may have the money somebody else is taking care of that person mm, but mm. now you're fully hands-on because you've literally present even if it's your parent, but because of older age, there's some things which can actually make you say, oh my God, I really wish I 
she was a wreck. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and at the same time, it could be teenagers when they come from school. You know how they leave the house before going to school, when they come back, the noise, and how they make everything to be haphazard in the house as well. Yes, so it's yes. literally different things and more errands that you have to run while you're working from home. Definitely a change to the grocery list and the budgets and all of that. There's definitely a change because there's a lot more eating going on now. The uh -huh. fridges are changing, the habits are coming in, the fights yeah. are becoming more. It's no way for change. So true. And another thing which I've heard, you know, many people complain about, you come from a very small household, a very small home, mm. and there's only, what, seven of you. There's an uncle, an aunt, a sister, a cousin, a sibling, a mother, a dad, or a grandmother and grandfather. Yeah, so yeah. you can imagine the dynamics of those environment in how you're working within, you know, working it out, making it happen. Absolutely. And so change. And change, again, that we've seen a lot in relationships. Mm. Because for married couple, that's when you get to spend more time together. That's when you kind of like have more time to address and see things that you didn't see before. So for some couple, they've kind of like disintegrated. And for some couple, it actually gave them time to spend more time together and work out the differences and kind of like, you know, come together slowly, slowly because they're working on the relationship at the same time. So it's negative, it's bad, it's lose and it's win. Different. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely do hear that. Yeah. I definitely do hear that. But hey, you know, when I yeah, I'm I'm just constantly thinking of this idea of change, you know, and, and how it actually mentally now affects you like I want us to move from now the relationships and actually the physical idea of change but now what actually happens once you internalize it chemically in the brain and you know what is it that actually creates that frustration or creates that positivity okay. in the individual so what happens is let's take it back to the organization all right they call they call people up and they tell them that they're going to retrench them. Yeah. And then some of them, of course, they're going to survive their retrenchment. So everything is dependent on how you've actually been briefed as people working for the company. Okay. Was the structured structure followed in the right way? Mm. Were you briefed mm. properly? Were you told exactly what's going to happen? How is it going to happen? It's not just, okay. you know, a boom on your email, tomorrow we'd like to see you, this is what's happening. Kind of like you're being briefed about the economy, what's happening in general within our community, society, in the country, globally. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of like prepared. Then, of course, start addressing the financial predicament and status, the current status of the company. In that way, you kind of, everything sinks in. Yeah, yeah. And then you get called up and then you get told about the process, how it's going to work. Because some companies, what actually happened, they just called in people and told people that they're going to be made retrenched as from mm. next month. So it's all about preparation, preparing the person to be alert and to be ready for what might happen. Because as we all know, not everything is static. Yeah, that's allowing the person the, the opportunity to adapt, you know, so to, that's very to important. Adapt, change your circumstances so you can actually chemicalize it in the brain, yes. I would think, and make it an actual Habits, so true. Habits, yeah. So for individuals, I'd say it's very important for us at all the times to define what is happening within our life, within ourselves, mm. even companies, mm. that's what they do. The second stage is to engage with what you've listed in terms of what is going to happen, what might happen, and how is it going to happen, mm. and what are my tools, techniques to help myself with what's going to happen. So you're engaging with the process of, of what you've defined, which is going to take you to the next step. Yeah, the next I step is to activate the plan of action which comes from what you've gathered, mm, from defining, I engaging, that, then you activate that. it in terms of how you're going to execute it. And after executing it, of course, you have to make sure that you maintain it. Because without maintaining it, it runs in a loss. What's, what's the actual point of it? You end up losing it. But this is why I absolutely love our sessions with Satra and Blair, because we always have a takeaway, you know. 
change is something that we figured is consistent. Yeah. It's something that can affect you mentally, physically, emotionally, Absolutely. the relationships. There's a lot of dynamics that change can actually have in one's life. Yeah. You know, and this is what the Happy Club is about. It's about sharing tools. It's about sharing knowledge on mental health and overall wellness. When we do come back, I want us to actually continue this. And I want us just to, if we can touch on change from, you know, a personal circumstance happening. So mm -hmm. if you go through a trauma, the change that then comes from dealing with that trauma. Absolutely. But I am your girl, Anela Kunene, and this is The Happy Club, and you are definitely tuned into Homegrown Radio. I am not alone. I am with... Sir Tremblay. There's that voice. <laughs> There's that voice. I love it all the time.